Hey everyone. So today is kind of like sad and crazy and erotic. It's not sad, I guess, quite yet. Ugh, I don't know. I don't even know what's going on, but basically Rosie Jr. calls me while I'm at work and she tells me that her stomach is hurting really, really, really bad. Like she's crying. So I left work. I'm on my way to pick her up right now to take her to the emergency room. So I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that it's not appendicitis or anything crazy where she'll need surgery. But I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm just praying that it's a false alarm, but she is crying and she can barely walk. She can barely move. So we'll see what the doctor says. I will be vlogging from the hospital. See you guys soon. Oh my gosh, do you see that? Oh wait, that's four tubes of blood. That's like four tubes now? Like, my veins start to hurt. They what? Oh, they start to hurt. Okay. Girl, you know I love you. I still dream of you at night. We'll be fine. I'm really gonna cry. It's like a pinch. It doesn't hurt as much as your stomach, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, wait, okay, okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. It's okay. I'm just gonna clean it first. <laughs> But it's distracting me from my stomach. Let it go. Let her run away. Don't look. Okay. Just relax. Do you want me to count? Nope, don't even just count. Just do it. Wait, okay. Okay, just go. Twelve o'clock midnight. Guys, I am so tired. I was at the emergency room in a different hospital and they had to transfer us because they couldn't see the appendix and they didn't want to do a CAT scan because it's too much radiation. So we're here now at a different hospital where they specialize with these kind of things. She has an ovarian cyst, which is really painful. She's in pain. Anyway, we'll see what happens. I'll let you guys know. Day two. So last night, I was so tired that I ended up switching with David. He met me at the hospital and he relieved me. I got to go home. I was so tired. They did a second ultrasound on her and they found that the appendix was swollen. So David lets me know that she has to have surgery. The results came back and her appendix was swollen and he was like the surgeon came in and said one hour basically in one hour she was gonna be having surgery so I decided to come to the hospital right away and it's gonna be a two-in-one procedure they're gonna remove her appendix and they're going to remove her cyst in her ovary so so she's in a lot of pain but I'm just praying that it all turns out well and I know God's gonna have her back and everything and she's gonna be okay. I'll let you guys know. One eternity later. Hey guys, so she is out of surgery. Uh, it went really, really well. I'm really, really happy that she's okay she's recovering so i'm gonna go into the recovery room and see how she's doing so i'm in the room right now and rosie is recovering well she's lying down over there on the phone with her friend but she's recovering really well and we're really happy huh david she's been strong she's been walking around Impressing the nurses. She walked faster than I walked. Yeah. Uh, when I got mine. And, um. Like, David was walking like an old man. Yeah. She's gonna try to sit down too. She's a G. She's doing really, really well. Day three. Wanna say hi? 
Hi guys. Look at Eileen. I need okay. a hair tie. It is too long. Yeah, I'll get you one. Look at that. Look at her, the first shot that you guys saw. You mean IV? Or IV, yeah. You know what? So like this. It made her arms swell up because it was like right where she bends her arms. So. And right here, there's another one. So they put another one in there while she was knocked out during the surgery. She's all poked. This thing is warm. It, like, keeps her warm if she gets cold. She has a TV right there. She's living the life right now. No, living the pain. Isabella, look at Eileen. Oh my gosh, she's so sick. She's so sick. But why is she sick? Because they had they did surgery on her. Me? They cut her. They cut her stomach. Why? Because they had to take out the her appendix. Day four. How are you feeling? Alright. Are you feeling a lot better, right? I'm glad you're doing better. Everyone wish her to get well soon, please. I'm sure they're sending you good vibes. Okay. Hey guys, we're still at the hospital. Apparently, we were going to be released, but Rosie Jr. started to have a lot of pain in her belly button, which I guess is where the incision is made. Well, the biggest one. They made three incisions in her stomach, one in her belly button and two on the side, and um, it's hurting right now. So, we're going to be here for a little longer than I expected, but it's okay. I just want her to feel better before we go home. Just pray for her and hope that she recovers well. She does have finals coming up this week, so I hope she's able to take her finals. I have a nice view here. I'm just relaxing, reading a book, writing in my gratitude journal because I am grateful that everything turned out well. So I'm just trying to make the best of the situation. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be posting a video soon of Rosie Jr. doing my makeup. We actually filmed that video before this happened. So that's why she has a lot of energy and everything. But I want to get that up for you guys. But I just thought I would post this because this just happened. I'll try to get it up by Sunday. Yeah, I'll keep you guys updated after we get home next week. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Till next time, besitos. Thank you.